On this video, I'm going to show you how to download and save a zip file onto your iPhone or your iPad and then open it so that you can access the files inside. I've emailed myself a zip file, as you can see here, and to save it to my iPad, all I need to do is press and hold it and then choose Save to Files. What you will get that comes up is a number of different options where you can save them, either on your iCloud or on your iPhone or your iPad. I've made a folder here called Cross Stitch by pressing the file up there with a small plus on it. And so I'm going to save it in there. So I select it and choose Save at the top. That is now saved onto my iPad and ready to open. So I need to access the files, which are in the Files app. And then down the side, I need to find my iPad and my cross stitch folder. So I'm going to click it to open it. And you can see I've got the zip file saved in there. Now I need to uncompress it, which is the easiest thing to do. I simply touch it and hold it. And from the options that pop up at the bottom, you can see it says uncompress. If I touch that, it will now uncompress. If you give it a few seconds, you can see that it's uncompressed the files and it now says three items in there. If I click, you can see the JPEG, which is the front sheet for your reference, and then the two PDFs, the black and white one and the coloured one, which contain the chart. To open them or read them and print them, simply touch them once and they'll open for you. And then you can scroll down and look at all your pages, either down the side or by manually scrolling to read your chart. If you want to print it, you can print the, you can choose the square at the top with a little arrow and choose the print option. This will then bring up your air printer and you can see the print preview at the bottom. To print it, all you simply need to do is click on the print icon and it will print out your chart for you to read and to cross off and use as you like. 